If you are wondering why I look like a swollen naked mole rat right now, <laughs> it's honestly because I was crying. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? If you are new here, my name is Danny Christine. I'm a childcare business owner, consultant, and wannabe lifestyle content creator here on YouTube. And you can really help me out with that by scrolling down and clicking that subscribe button to join the Danny Christine click. And I just want to keep it real with you guys like I have been crying for hours all day long <laughs> and I've been up since 3 a.m. It is currently 3.43 p.m. and I just cried like 20 minutes ago. I'm a person that normally struggles with anxiety. I have like, oh lord. <laughs> that's what we're not gonna do on camera <laughs> I normally have like really bad bad anxiety on any given day regardless but with what's going on in the world it just like for whatever reason it really hit me in the middle of the night <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night at like three o'clock in the morning started diving into news articles social media at 3 a.m and could not go back to sleep i started working sending emails at five o'clock in the morning and i'm sure i'm not the only one in um in the boat right now with anxiety and just worrisome sleepless nights um but usually if i'm not in the mood to film I just wouldn't film and I would like maybe reschedule this for tomorrow but with everything changing so much on a day-to-day -day basis I really just wanted to make sure I give you guys the most up-to-date current information um, because who knows what tomorrow will bring. So in my last video I explained the current status of my daycare program um, everything still is as it was a couple days ago in that video. We are still open and operating and if you want more information about that, you can go watch that video. Um, and before I move on, I just want to say that we have been getting backlash and rude, like extremely rude, ignorant, comments phone calls and just like <laughs> messages from not only like some some of our parents that have children enrolled in our program but um just the community um and even in my last video someone commented that like i'm putting my staff at risk by staying open and i don't even judge these people for being so opinionated about it i don't understand and i do judge the fact that some are extremely rude and just out of pocket and ignorant but before all of this started to get to the point that it is now I felt the same way like I was so shocked when K-12 to schools were closed and childcare programs were not mandated to close. But being informed of that decision and hearing why childcare programs were not mandated to close really gave me some insight and perspective as to why childcare providers are actually very necessary in a time like this. So let me break it down for those of you who might not understand. Doctors, <laughs> nurses, police officers, firefighters, EMTs, pharmacists, grocery store clerks, bankers, if you're in New York, liquor store owners. <laughs> These are all essential workers. These are all people that have been categorized as essential workers. It would be ignorant to think that 
at least a small percentage of those people, but I'm sure it's large, but at least a small percentage are probably parents. Some of those parents might not have anywhere to put their child so that they can continue to go to work and can continue to be of service to the community and the people in need. Think about that. If your doctor is a single dad or a single mom, or if a child has two essential worker parents and no one else in the family that can care for them, What's gonna happen to that child? The parent is most likely going to stay home to take care of their child because it would be illegal to leave them alone, right? And if that happens, your doctor would not be able to go to work to provide crucial care for you or a loved one that might be diagnosed with coronavirus because they gotta watch their child. <laughs> if the grocery store clerks can't get a babysitter or do not wanna risk dropping their two-year-old off to sickly grandma and grandpa's house, what's gonna happen? That grocery store clerk is not going to be able to stock the shelves at the supermarket so that you can go home and feed your family. These essential workers need childcare, and it's not everybody, which is why programs, including mine, are seeing extremely low attendance. But in a time like this, low attendance is a good thing so that we can be in compliance with CDC guidelines of smaller group sizes, which we are doing. But being that these really important essential workers need to get to work to do their jobs to make sure that you and the rest of civilization is okay during this time frame, some of those people need quality, clean, healthy, and safe childcare. And that's what we're offering. So before you judge or make ignorant, rude, comments or remarks just just think about that and to speak on the fact of like all my employees are being put at risk so are your doctors nurses first responders grocery store clerks bankers liquor store <laughs> workers <laughs> and whatever else public transportation all of those employees are also at risk you are at risk when you leave your house and go to the supermarket to buy groceries for your family i'm sure that you personally are taking the extra precautions necessary like some people out here wearing gloves masks hand sanitizer full hazmat suits whatever it is that you're doing to keep your personal being safe um you're taking that extra precaution. I know stores are taking extra precautions. Doctors, nurses, first responders. I see everybody wearing masks, gloves, doing all these things to keep themselves protected during these times. My business and other childcare programs that are choosing to stay open during this time, which is honestly most childcare programs that have the ability to do so, most childcare programs that were not mandated to close are not closing voluntarily. Some are, but a lot are not. We are also taking extra precautions to make sure that we keep our children and our staff as healthy and safe as possible. And like I said in my last video, the reality is that it is likely that somebody is going to test positive for COVID-19 because the cases are going up every day. And if that were to happen, we have action plans prepared for it. It is something that we have outlined on our program's website, sent out to parents and the community, and we are as prepared as we possibly can be during these unprecedented times. And to be clear, these comments and ignorant statements are not the reason that I was crying earlier today. It's just, I just was overwhelmed by what is going on in general. And 
there's just a lot of really hard decisions to be made in such a short period of time. Um, and yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just got to cry it out. But having a good, strong support system is important and people that you can lean on even if there's nobody specifically helping you with your childcare business or whatever it is that you're doing that in your personal life that led you to land across this video. I hope that you have the support that you need mentally and a community surrounding you to give you the love and care that you deserve. I spoke to my dad today. I spoke to my grandparents today. I then spoke to my mom. I then jumped on a call with a mastermind group that I'm in of other childcare providers. It was just a lot of communication today that I had crying sessions in between, but ultimately I feel so much better. And to be honest, I'm not even talking about what, what I wanted this video to be about um, and it's already getting too long so I'll just put everything that I wanted to discuss in today's video in another video probably tomorrow or after I've calmed down a bit but what I wanted to talk about was the different actions that you can take in your childcare program to prevent the spread as much as you possibly can as well as try to keep your employees and your children safe and germ free. Um, so I just wanted to share the specific things that we are doing and implementing. Um, but like I said, I'll put that in another video that I promise will come out quite soon. <laughs> but. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>